What's going on YouTube? Today I'm going to do a video demonstration on how quickly you can upgrade the RAM on your Alienware X51. The first thing you need to do is remove the top cover. You do that by loosening the screw that's located here. I already did it. And then the cover will come right off. Next thing you need to do is remove the CD drive. Unplug the power to the CD drive. And there's a screw at the top right here, holding it in place, but I already removed it. Right, and this is the RAM in the motherboard right here. But there's two switches along this side of the motherboard that release the RAM. So all you have to do is clip it down. The RAM stick will pop right up. I'm gonna try and zoom closer so you can see precisely. So that's what the area looks like without the RAM and the lighting's bad, I apologize, but there's two clips over along this side. Next, we're gonna take our Corsair Vengeance. Now this is a very high profile RAM stick I recommend that you get a low profile RAM stick if you intend on using the CD drive. I leave my CD drive out, I already did a video on it, um, it's in picture in picture right now, click on it to see it, but I definitely think it's a better idea to leave the CD drive out to allow the air to better circulate around the Alienware. If you have a Blu-ray drive you might want to leave that in, but you may be able to make the high profile RAM sticks work regardless, all you just have to do is Clip it back in where the old RAM sticks used to be. As long as you push all the way down, the clips will clip automatically into place. Yeah, there, so there's one. It clips by itself. Yeah. Here's number two. That took a lot longer than expected because everything with the X51 is a tight squeeze. So it's very unlikely that I'm going to be able to use these high profile RAM sticks with the CD drive. So that's why I definitely recommend you buy the low profile RAM sticks. The big question to ask is how much RAM do I really need for gaming? In all honesty, if you're just playing games, like 6 gigs will be enough. But very few of us just play games. A lot of us are also recording, we're streaming, we're running Steam Chat, and then I also use my computer for video editing. So I need a lot of RAM for applications like Sony Vegas and Photoshop. That's why I got the eight gigs of RAM. And you know, who knows, maybe when the higher memory requirement games like Crisis come out, I'll probably upgrade to even higher. I think Crisis requires a minimum of four gigs of RAM. I'm not too sure if I'm wrong, correct me, but with Crisis 3, that's really pushing it if you only have six gigs. So there's how to upgrade the RAM. Have a great day.